So hello gamers, today I'm going to be showing you the best setup for the Glock 18 and Phantom Forces. And yes, I'm recording all of these in a row. I'm probably going to record like eight videos today and just spread them out over the next like month. But we're going by rank if you didn't know. I think I just went from like rank 13 to rank 17 already. And why is the Glock 18 a rank 17 gun? Why did you do this, Stylus? You missed a perfect opportunity to make the Glock 18 a rank 18 gun. The AK-47 is rank 47 and the AK-74 is rank 74 and the AK-103 is rank 103. But this is not rank 18, it's rank 17. Which is like the Glock and the M9 from my older videos, use either an iron sight or like a delta on this. Do not use any other optic because this will happen. It looks terrible. Like even a reflex. Look at that, dude. And then muzzle brake or compensator. If you're going to use the stock, then use muzzle brake. And if you're not going to use the stock, then use comp. But I would recommend using muzzle brake and G stock or compensator in the stock because the recoil is kind of all over the place. So muzzle brake or comp could work. Muffler is okay. You get a little bit less RPM. But if you want to dump mags less, then I guess use this. Long barrel is probably objectively speaking the best for better damage ranges and stuff and better velocity i guess i'll just use long barrel for this video and then muzzle booster it's not really recommended you only gain 88 rpm which i guess is some but it's not really that worth it and for other of course a green laser or the stock please just use the stock the stock is so op and then for ammo first off don't use ap and don't use hollow point plus b is pretty viable if you can control the recoil it's basically a direct upgrade to a lot of your stats like your muzzle velocity your damage ranges and your pen what makes your recoil higher the reason i say don't use hollow point is because of this ammo type the 50 gi which i guess hollow point doesn't increase your recoil but and i guess you can three hit kill kind of far but it's a seven hit at range you have worse damage ranges your headshot multi is worse your damage at range is terrible i just don't recommend hollow point in my opinion especially if you're going to use the default ammo use 33rd mag because big mag but personally i use 50 gi this has a lot of recoil but it does 45 to 30 damage and it has a 1.2 times torso multi so basically it can two hit kill to like 30 studs to the body and it can probably two hit kill to like the head to like 50 studs or something and it can usually like three hit kill all ranges and then tracer list is whatever like i said i'd rather use 33rd mag because you can't use 33rd mag and tracer list you used to be able to but then you couldn't use the stock in 33rd mag so it's kind of an upgrade to have 33rd mag in the ammo type but yeah with the 50 cal conversion as you're about to see a lot of recoil but a ton of damage a decent amount of pen and stuff so you can now basically just remove people from the game and you do a lot of damage at range still 30 damage at range that's like i think more than a 1911 at range if you want to just use 33rd mag i guess you can but i really like this thing with 50 gi it's just fun but i feel like for most players the best setup will be delta muzzle break g stock 33rd third mag yes your minimum damage range isn't as good but as you can see like holy this is super nice you only get two mags of reserve and your reload is really slow so like it's somewhat balanced but still the downside though the tech nine extended mag though downsides are kind of big but we'll talk about that when we get to the tech nine it actually has a lot of sway when you like continuously spray though but like look at this man maybe i should just use this this is kind of viable i don't actually have the extended mag because like i was just using the 50 gi and bought all the attachments because i guess i'm bad with money sometimes usually i'm not but like Oh, man. What's next on the list? Uh, Deagle L5. Deagle L5 is uh, in two days, depending on like what I do with these. But yeah, I'm going to test plus B. Okay, that's a lot. I will see you guys in the next one, though. Peace.